going to go through a sequence or a circuit of glute activation exercises. These are coming from Dr. Chris Powers, who is a professor at USC Physical Therapy Program. Recently took his training and it was awesome. Um, so with this, we are progressing the gluteal activity in stages and you don't go to the next stage until you're, you have passed this basic stage. So the requirement that he uses is completing the exercise with the blue band. So every band is different with these mini bands. This is the perform better. And when I've compared it to other um, band resistance, different brands, it's a heavy band. So this is a nice, this it's, it's quite a bit of resistance. So I would suggest you probably don't want to start with this one, but this is going to be your marker for being able to go to the next step. We're going to be one doing one minute holds in three activities. Clamshell, sideline hip abduction, and the fire hydrant. So these all activate gluteus maximus. I'm going to put this around my knee or knees. And I'm going to have to look at my clock on the wall. I suggest you get a timer on your phone and download it. So you can do rounds, 60 second work, 10 second rest. You'll be cycling through for three rounds. That's a total of about 18 minutes of work. So this is a really good butt burner here. Key thing when you're doing these activities in the clamshell on the sideline is you want to keep your pelvis stacked. When you lift your leg up, you don't want to rock back. So really pay attention to that. I like using a block for my head. So feet stay together and you're lifting up into the band. I'm kind of looking at the clock here. So you want it, you're feeling it here somewhere in the gluteus maximus. If you start to feel like you're really tightening up your back, you're done. You're overcompensating with other muscles or compensating and you don't want to do that. Okay, so the minute is up, I'm going to rest for 10 seconds and I'm going to go into my hip abduction. So you can have your knee bent like this on the bottom and lift up or if you like to have both down straight and then lift up, that's up to you. I kind of like to have a little bend on this bottom one. So you want to come down from your hip, make sure you're not forward or flexed, straight down and even back would be great. And rest. So from here, we're gonna go into that fire hydrant position to be on hands and knees and you want to make sure that you're starting with your lumbar curve so for some people hips are tight so that might mean that you actually need to rather having your hips stacked you let your hips go in front a little bit so you just kind of notice where you are and I've kind of passed my 10 second mark but we're going to go ahead and hold it for one minute Key thing here is that you're doing this, and I don't know if you can see, you want to relatively keep your pelvis level. If it comes up a little bit on the leg lift side, it's okay. But you want to make sure that you're not leaning over to the planted leg. You'll find that this is a lot of work for your arms. There's a lot more to negotiate here. Okay. Have fun. You can alternate sides, so do clam and then clam on the other side hip abduction and then go to the other. What I like to do personally is do same side clam, hip abduction, and then alternate and then just do that for uh, those rounds three times and then get up and do the hands and knees. You decide how you want to do it. It's a great little workout working on stabilizing the pelvis for 
everyday tasks. Have fun.